Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Peter Piot, and I'm uh, welcoming you here on behalf of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And we're uh, really delighted to, to host what is actually a series, uh, if not an extravaganza, of uh, celebrating the bicentenary of uh, John Snow's birth. And uh, today uh, is, is the start of uh, part three. We had in, uh, in March a, um, a program on the um, a retrospective on, on uh, John Snow's work through the perspective of historians, not only on his work as a, um, what didn't even have a name yet, but as an epidemiologist, but also as an anesthesiologist and social reformer. And, um, and that was uh, on March 15 and 16. Um, you all must have noticed that there is an exhibition um, here, which interestingly enough has attracted quite a few people who uh, probably on the way to the British Museum said, hey, there is something going on here. And, uh, and, and it is a unique uh, collection of, uh, uh, particularly of maps, but also of insight in the, uh, in the early work, in the prehistory of uh, epidemiology. And, um, and now we are here um, in terms of uh, uh, a symposium which called Snow's Legacy, Epidemiology Today and uh, Tomorrow. And um, it's really uh, an exploration of what is one of the foundations of the, uh, you know, of public health. I, I would not say that it is the only uh, foundation of public health. I mean, economics and so on is uh, equally important. But promises, uh, um, uh, the, the symposium, what I find fascinating, the agenda, is that it explores the boundaries of uh, epidemiology as it is practiced today. And, um, and will undoubtedly be continue to be practiced uh, tomorrow. Um, and even if some of today's epidemiological methodologies are uh, far behind, beyond my own comprehension, um, when you look at the, uh, the basics of, certainly of outbreak investigation, the methodologies, the basic methodologies, they're still the same as in the time of uh, John Snow. Uh, and it is about defining uh, an, a phenomenon in terms of time, place, and person, and, um, and then see what the difference is between those who have something or who are exposed to something and those who are not or are not exposed. And uh, uh, I came across that myself at least uh, many times, but uh, two of the most uh, interesting or exciting examples of recent history, and that's the one hand we had um, the, um, when the discovery of AIDS um, and Actually, we had figured out basic transmission mechanisms and so on uh, before, uh, you know, we had identified the, uh, the cause, I mean, HIV virus. And then on the other hand, uh, another example is when uh, Ebola virus was um, isolated. Um, this was the, uh, the other way around. We had a virus, but didn't know what the... Uh, the disease was basically and how it was transmitted and, and that was another uh, outbreak I was um, working on and that was where um, um, I discovered let's see what's now called global health. Um, global health and uh, epidemiology uh, is not um, or public health I should say it's not just about viruses, uh, microorganisms, smoking, blood pressure, drugs and vaccines but it's as much about education, economics, uh, social policies, politics, human rights, uh, society, and all of these aspects um, require rigorous uh, data collection and analysis and can be analyzed in manners which are similar, um, if not actually congruent with what epidemiologists do. And, uh, and, and that, I think, is something that uh, where we could do more and what I see as one of the most promising uh, areas for further um, development of, um, of epidemiology. There is a, uh, an article in today's Lancet um, here. I think everybody uh, has had um, the, uh, got a copy of it and um, where an editorial um, comment uh, highlights the, uh, the past and the future of, uh, of epidemiology. Um, I should like to, uh, to thank the sponsors of this uh, event, of course, the John Snow Society, um, which is also a unique society, and I hope at one time we will uh, hear um, more about that society. But the, the Arts Council, 
Wellcome Trust, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, International Epidemiological Association, the uh, LSHDM History Center, um, and then of course the, our uh, organizing committee. And that committee has been inspired and driven by the ultimate Jon Snow aficionado, um, Paul Fine. Uh, Paul, where are you? Oh, there, hiding there. Paul. Paul, you have the floor from Broad Street to Broadview. <laughs> 